people, those things that they have some power to do something about. An organizational chart is going to be a very useful tool and a necessary tool for responsibility accounting. Because remember what our objective here is to take the organization. It's going to be to break them up into separate units, separate segments, and then assign responsibility to that. In order for this to work well, we need to know exactly what those units are so that we can assign specific responsibilities. What we don't want to have happen, therefore, is to have some types of things that are important responsibilities that are not assigned. No one has been assigned the responsibility over them. The only way to really cover that is to have a pretty specific organizational chart, have very defined and specific roles that are going to be assigned to different units within the organization, and then have appropriate measures that we can assign for our objectives and the measurement of the performance of whether those objectives have been met by the departments. When considering the responsibility accounting